DC analog. The DC analog output type provides a variable analog signal, typically in the range of 0 to 10 volts DC or 0 to 20 milliamp DC. These output types and ranges are configured in the temperature controller to match the input signal requirements of the power controller. This type of output signal is usually used to control an SCR power controller or valve. The higher the output signal, the more power is applied to the load. In the wiring diagram that you see, you will note that we are using a Eurotherm 2216E temperature controller and a Eurotherm TE10A power controller with a DC analog input command signal. First, you will wire terminal 1A positive of the temperature controller to terminal 6 positive of the power controller. Next, terminal 1B negative of the temperature controller to terminal 5 negative of the power controller. This completes the output wiring for this style of control. Now when the temperature controller turns on, it will provide a variable analog output signal to the input command of the power controller, and the higher the input command, the more power is applied to the load. Motorized valve actuator. The motorized valve actuator output type provides two relay or two triac outputs to control the direction clockwise or counterclockwise of a valve actuator motor. A motorized valve actuator typically moves a damper or a valve to a specific position. Some applications require that the temperature controller knows what position the valve is at. This is done using a slide wire feedback potentiometer signal from the motorized valve actuator. Depending on the position of the motorized valve actuator and a voltage drop across this potentiometer, the temperature controller can tell where the valve is at. There are only a few controllers made in the industry that will accept this type of input. Eurotherm is one of these companies. This option is available on our 2400, 2604, 2704, and 3500 series controllers. In the wiring diagram that you see, you will note that we are using a Eurotherm 2404 temperature controller and a Eurotherm EA55 motorized valve actuator. First, you wire a jumper across terminals 1A and 1C of the temperature controller. Next, wire terminal 1A of the temperature controller to terminal X of the motorized valve actuator. Next, terminal 1B of the temperature controller to terminal 2 of the motorized valve actuator. Next, terminal 1D of the temperature controller to terminal 3 of the motorized valve actuator. This completes the output wiring for this style of control. As an option, a slide wire potentiometer input module can be installed in the temperature controller to measure the slide wire feedback position of the motorized valve actuator. To use this option, wire terminal 3B of the temperature controller to terminal 7 of the motorized valve actuator. Next, wire terminal 3C of the temperature controller to terminal 4 of the motorized valve actuator. Next, wire terminal 3D of the temperature controller to terminal 8 of the motorized valve actuator. Now when the temperature controller turns on or off, it will provide a relay closure or triac output signal to either move the motorized valve actuator in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction.